Welcome back. Well, as we know, it's certainly been a hot and humid summer so far. And we're only just getting started. As we mentioned earlier, we're in the middle of this heat wave. But while you're working on getting rid of the COVID weight, how do you stay on track and stay safe exercising on these super hot days? Joining us with some ideas, Ashley Broder from Active Lifestyle Fitness out of Agawam. Hi, Ashley. Good to see you. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back. Of course, I'm in the AC, so I have no excuse not to work out if I were to at work, I guess. But give us some ways yeah. that people can, can combat the heat and humidity while they're trying to work out. Yeah, so it's important to know that when we exercise, every muscle contraction is producing heat. So it's hot outside, it's hot inside our bodies, and we want to prevent from cooking our organs like a Thanksgiving turkey. So you want to make sure to keep it nice and cool, cool the blood that's returning back so that we can keep our core temperature stable. We do that by sweating. So when you sweat, sweat comes to your skin, it cools, it dries, it, and it cools your body temperature. So that's our goal here when we're exercising outside or in hot conditions is how can you effectively cool your skin to cool your body to prevent any internal damage. And you can do that in a few different ways. One is using fans. Uh, now, if you're working out inside in a group that is banned by uh, state guidelines right now, but if you're by yourself, use all the fans that you want. That's a great way to cool uh, the liquid on your skin. Wearing less clothing. Now, you know, not jogging in your skivvies, but <laughs> uh, you know, about having more skin exposed without the sunlight, um, allowing that, you know, skin to cool and dry, um, using cold water, pouring it, spraying on your skin, staying in the shade if you can, if you're outside, and also choosing the time appropriately that you're going to exercise. Try not to exercise in the heat of the day. Try to do it early, early morning or later in the evening after the sun has gone down. So don't go out right now by any means. Now, what are some now, of the best workouts to do on hot days like this? That might be a little easier so you're not cooking your organs, as you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have that mental image inside yes. your head now. <laughs> um, so now's a good time to maybe look into some yoga, Pilates, slower moving, lengthening the muscles, because actually the heat is great for helping your body to relax and lengthen your muscles a little bit. So you might want to look into doing some more of that right now. And then when it cools down, maybe return back to some of your higher intensity exercise. I'm thinking about, again, the muscle contractions. If we're doing high intensity exercise, we're heating up a little bit more. So you might wanna stay away from any hard runs, any HIIT workouts, any really high intensity type movements. Um, go into the slower, heavier weight training if that's what you like to do. Uh, fewer reps, slower pace. And if you do wanna do some cardio, very light walk, light jog. Now, you know, in the heat of the day, is not the time to go all out with that stuff, but you can still get that in as long as you lower the intensity. I'd imagine you'd want people to keep moving regardless. It's pretty hard to get motivation, at least for me during this hot weather. You just kind of want to slump around and stay as cool as possible. What is your advice to people to keep moving? Yeah, so find a time that's going to work out best for you. Like I said, early morning or late at night, uh, find out when you have the most energy and plan to do it then. Um, that way you're not allowing the heat of the day to kind of wear you down. And also drinking plenty of water. Keeping hydrated is gonna give you more energy too because if you're sweating throughout the day, you're losing that body water, dehydration can also show up as tiredness or exhaustion or fatigue. So as long as you're drinking plenty of water, that should keep you energized and ready to do your workout as well. And important to remember that staying hydrated doesn't mean just drinking water while you're exercising. Staying hydrated means starting a day or two before intense exercise and drinking tons of water uh, through the day and after exercise. Hydration is a progressive thing, not just a during thing. Yeah, definitely good advice there. Tips we need to remember. Thank you so much, Ashley. Good to have you on. Thanks for having me.